Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Europe Universalis 4. This is the Blessed Prester John achievement run. So, I don't know where that heavy is. But I'm not seeing it. So I'm kind of tempted to poke out again with my ships that are nearly dead. It's Warsongali that owns the heavy. Interesting. Well, if we can just quickly establish a blockade on him, there's a chance that, uh... I don't know, maybe he'll he'll want to peace out soon. Get this eye occupied, get some cash. I still have another fort to build. I need to also I don't know, spend money on all kinds of things. There's always things to spend money on. Maybe we'll just piece this guy out for some dark cash right now. You have 25 reasons for that. Um, well, if I knock this guy, Mara, out, then I can definitely blockade that one ship on its own. Since I'm not looking to take any land from you because you're a non co belligerent, we just need to get some more individual war score against you. Ash war reps. You're at negative 77 for that. But these occupations will be done very soon, and once they are, he should want out. I'm at uh, 43 war score now. Let's try sending two ships up there just to get that blockade established on Wusta. It's probably not going to make any difference, but maybe it will. The subject is disloyal. Oh, and also I never did do the uh, Great Power Influence again after that diplomat got messed up. So let's do that one with you. I'm already influencing you. Beja should also influence. Barely any ducats at all. Relative power of all vassals. Better diplotech than me. That's the problem now. I could just develop one of his provinces to make him loyal. Um... Or if he has loans. 41 ducats in debt. That is... One loan. 40 ducats just to get him to pay me ducats? Doesn't make sense, I think. But, um... 58. What's the cheapest amount of monarch points I can spend to make you happy? I'm willing to do that, yeah. There's some coastal grain. 60, 55. I'm not worried about Miltech just yet. I want to get Miltech, whatever, seven for the next war with the uh, the guys, but I think we'll be fine. That way, Ajran's paying me their 2.4 ducats a month, which adds up quite a bit. One of the next things I want to do also, I think I'm going to bump the level of the missionary, uh, the administrative advisor, up to level three. That's fine. Castle is complete in Lasta. Never started the castle in this spot. That's the next thing I'm spending money on. I mean, this should be done pretty soon anyway, right? No? I don't have a leader on this siege, but he is actually the guy that I want up the most. So if this fort could just go ahead and fall, that'd be great. Nay, nice. New Splendor. Cool. So we have Transfer Subject, which I haven't even considered using yet, and I probably should. The fact that we're allowed to do it is... 
Definitely something worth considering. There isn't really anyone around that I could use it on, but... Uh, I don't need Feudal du Jour Law. Improved War Taxes is interesting. Uh, adaptive Combat Terrain Bonus. Our capital is in the mountains now, so... Plus one bonus in all mountains would be great. Basically offsets half the penalty if we have to attack into the mountains, and also just makes us kind of stupid strong in our own mountains. But the you, the frequency we can use it's pretty light. I'm going to go with War Taxes first, and just hope that I remember to actually turn that on on occasion. Ormuz finally peaced out. Wow, they've been at war forever. And they finally peaced out. They've been like... <laughs> look at this. The history of Qatar. Uh, Qatar was occupied by rebels in 64. Um, annexed in 80. Liberated from enemy occupation. I don't even show where it was actually occupied, but I don't know. It, it's been a long, long war. I know that for sure. How do you feel about vassalization? Not so much? Damn. All right, I need this fort to fall. That's not spying on Kiwa. Boo. Fall, please. Feed next. Great. The two siege ship guy over there. Now hopefully we can just cascade these things. Not that leader's there. Go ahead and just say... I am allowed to annex two of my subjects right now. Aden and Beja are both annexable. Aden has all of their cores back. It's not part of an accepted culture yet, but eventually I'll have the Diplo points to accept it. So I think I will start the integration of one of these guys. 234 or 66. Um... The thing is, I would like to maybe do a quick reconquest against the Mamluks, take those last two cores back, get power projection above 50. And also I need to catch up on Diplotech before Unbalanced Research eats me alive. To do that, I can't really afford to integrate yet. I guess I won't. I will instead improve relations with, um, I don't know, neighboring countries and threatening countries. Please fall? No? Okay. Lost another one of my generals. Damn, that was my two siege ship general. That's really unfortunate timing. Our, our ruler is still alive, the 655. He's 63. I can't believe it, but that's pretty awesome. We can take admin tech at no penalty. My golden era, innovativeness. Great. Cool, let's do that. That puts us 12 years ahead of time. We get our production efficiency bonus. I'm going to go ahead and say that for the first time, I think, in the history of ever playing E4, I'm going to make a push for economic ideas. It just makes too much sense. We need the build cost reduction for all the land to develop. We need the yearly inflation for the gold mines. Interest per annum is useless. Pretty useless. Pretty minor. It's not going to affect gold mines, so it's kind of okay. But this, 20% development on gold mines, hell yeah. I'll take it. I mean, gold mines are still, like, 18 out of my 50 ducats, so... So you're getting pieced out first. I want money and war ups, and that's it. Goodbye. That frees up the navy. Now the navy can go blockade this guy. Once the blockade's in place, that'll probably make him peaceable. Good. Now you're out. Alright, and we're ahead of time on admin, but we're doing an administrative idea group. So even though we're behind time on dip, I think I'll take this province. And then give it to my subject, Aiden. They already accept the culture. It's a primary culture. 
And uh, in theory, he's got his capital fort and a real fort nearby that he can use to get rid of devastation. But he's got no income, so... Okay, next fort was going to go in Soba. Now I need to decide if I'm actually going to integrate Beja or am I going to try to go after the Mamlux. And I feel like with the, the fact that I'm behind time on tech now and really far behind on Diplotech, I think I will be going to war with the Mamlux next. I'll need to occupy a fort, unfortunately. Which means we're going to have to push probably all the way up to Cairo. And the army composition is pretty infantry heavy at the moment, but... Maybe we can wait until Military Tech 7, build a couple cannons, and then do it. more fort. <laughs> I'm going so crazy with forts. Uh, I mean, like, I'd like to defend this land up here as well. Soba's going to protect this, but nothing up here. Uh, after we integrate Beja, he has no forts. So I've got a fort here and here right now. It's going to project to these two, these three. Really, I need one, like, up here in Beja's province. That would block this whole area. It's not great terrain, and it's not going to lower my uh, devastation here until we integrate, but that would probably be a decent spot after we integrate. Wealth of Africa has expired. Okay, uh, so I can use Beja Course. I assume I still have a truce here. I could claim something, though, as well. I could say Jeddah. No, I can't claim Jeddah, but um kind of thinking about maybe releasing Hejaz. Let's see, integrated them. And Hejaz inherited Medina or whatever and got the cores. So I might take that claim as well. In fact, would it be easier to siege this side or this side? It's better defensive, like it's easier for me to fight in. Nah, I guess it's about the same. It's all flat terrain. I'm just gonna go up and murder his prosperity up there. Like, you don't deserve prosperity in that state. You're my rival. Let's go kill him. With my 1-2 general. Well, that certainly does leave a lot to be asked for, but... One more idea to go. Marcher Lords, Vassal Force Limit Contribution plus 100%, get our Unjustified Demands up. Our heir just died, and instead we have a 304? What? Now we have a Regency? It's all happening so fast, what? Okay. I mean, the Regent's pretty good, she's also really old though. So if she dies, then I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble, because I'm not gonna be able to declare war until... I'm not gonna get another Regent, you know? Need to focus on admin, I think. But actually, no. I'm just gonna stay focused on dip because he's got a weakness in dip. And even after we do the entire administrative idea group, I'm gonna need tons of diplo points for developing gold mines. So I think for the most part, I'm just gonna stay on dip until all the gold mines in the whole world are developed properly.
All right, Mamluks are going to bring in Shamar, who they're integrating, Ramazan, Mahra, and Tlemcen. So Mahra is going to come back in again, unless they've decided they don't want to actually do it. I'm currently below my relationship limit by two. Eight would accept vassalization. Bringing in people peacefully would be a pretty good way of going right now. Keep my aggressive expansion down a bit. Everyone defends him. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm worried he'll take tech seven before me right now. Oman well, still has no friends. We could always go and attack him. Is that within coring range? Ms. Ma Maz, that thing is right there. Um, da, 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 da. Truce with you, truce with him. Truce with you. Curia, 85. 8, truce. Melindy, truce. Kilwa, truce. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll try to improve relations with that one. Well, for now, I guess I'm going to do some drill. Mercuria wants an alliance. Um, you're not really a great subject, but I do plan on integrating that guy, and we have the relationship slot. You'll never accept vassalization, though, because I own your course. So the answer is no. If anything, I need to use Beja's claim on your land to get rid of you. Gross. Hate suffering attrition in my own land. It's just so dirty. Sale of titles. More stab, back up to three. Lose burger loyalty for noble loyalty? Yeah. I mean, well, hold on, let me think about this. Normally I would say no. it's a no-brainer, the stab is just great, but... I really need Diplo points, and the thing that's always limiting me is the Burger's loyalty, so... I think I might actually take the money with Burger loyalty. And then turn around and use that loyalty to demand some points, or at least some cash or something. Preferably the points. I don't want to give them my former capital. That's way too much. Or do I want to give them one of the gold mines? And that's the only thing that they're allowed to take. Great! Alright, uh... 150 Diplo points, man. I could give him the capital temporarily. What's the actual cost? I'd lose out on 25% of the taxes. 25% of 2.6. 8. I'd lose 0.67 ducats a month, and I'd lose 25% of the max manpower. And the man max manpower is going to go up even more soon, because the barracks is going to be complete. Alright, I'm going to just give it to him temporarily, because I want to do it. And while they're loyal, perhaps we could do some more development somewhere else. No, I can't do development. <laughs> what am I talking about? I have no monarch points. I'm behind time on tech. Alright, unjustified demands plus 50%, more force limit from subjects, and... I'm trying to decide now if I want to do that money click, or do I want to just revoke some of the other provinces that they own? I think I want the money. <laughs> I'm really greedy. I want money! You guys should drill. I already started the fort up there. I did still want one more in Al-Kadrif. 
And I feel like I have probably way more forts than I need, but it's it's okay. And Ajran, do you have your forts complete yet? He does, but they're not turned on because he has no money. Because despite everything, he just has literally no income at all. He's dying due to the fort maintenance at 2.7 ducats a month. Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. All right. I'm going to take a break here. Uh, next episode, I'm expecting we'll probably go to war with the autumn, uh, the Mamluks after taking Tech 7. So, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. In a bit.